whole set. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Julie, and today's eating show, we're gonna be eating. Dun, dun. Guys, here we have legit the noodles. Guys, I didn't post a video all week because I've been sick. I've been having fever, sore throat, and like the middle of my face just feels so clogged. But I thought for today's mukbang, we should definitely eat something healthy. When you're sick, you usually eat soup and vegetables. And when I thought about soup and vegetables, I thought about pho, so we're going to be having pho noodle soup today. And since I want to eat vegetables as well, I'm going to have spring rolls on the side. And I also always wanted to try fire spring noodles, but I should probably not eat that, right? But yeah, we have a lot of cooking to do, so I'll see you guys in the kitchen. Welcome to my kitchen. So I'm going to start off with making a broth for this pho. Guys, I'm gonna cheat and just and take some from the instant pho. This is my favorite instant pho and it makes the broth so delicious, so that's why I'm taking it. Looks like this. Oil packet, deep in flavor. Green onion, carrot, garlic. Hey guys, this is gonna make a really deep flavored broth with this carrot and onion and garlic while we make our spring rolls. My veggies. I'm literally using the same water that I boiled the noodles in. Hee <laughs> hee, save water. So Do you guys prefer lime or lemon on your pho? I like lime. And I also like to top it with green onion and jalapenos, but I don't have jalapenos right now. Hot broth. Oh my god, it looks so good. Okay, for a drink today, I have a sparkling shine muscat grape drink. I got this from Korea in April. Yes, I brought in my luggage all the way to America. You know, Shine Muscat grapes are like $20. $30. Glass straw. Cheers to finally eating pho on my channel. Tastes like lychee, Sprite mix. So good. I love it so much. By the way, for dessert, I want to eat something from the Soul Box. It's like a monthly subscription box from Seoul, Korea. I'm gonna open it at the end, so stay till the end if you want to see what I'm gonna eat for dessert. Alright, let me try a little bit of beef brisket because this was expensive. If you guys didn't watch the cooking portion, I boiled this broth with carrot and green onion for a good half hour, I would say. Try this. Bone apple tea. I already feel like my body's healing through this meal.
Mm. Also, today is a cloudy day, guys. It's so rare in California. It makes me so happy I'm eating pho on a rainy day. I love sriracha in my spring roll. I love how long these noodles are, by the way, because usually pho noodles are so short. Oh, last spring roll. These are so good. And I feel so healthy eating this meal. 
These are so good. How are they so healthy, but they taste so good? I think I just really like carbs. First time ever buying a pumpkin for Halloween. I'm so excited. This is me and Mochi's first Halloween. She was born in 2020 in November, so she never got to experience Halloween. Last year I was Chucky for Halloween, but comment down below what should I be for Halloween? I know Halloween is next week, but I still pretty much have um, time to buy a costume because I have Amazon Prime. Yeah, comment down below. This year has been hardest. I do have a costume prepared, but I'm not sure if it's gonna look good on camera. I've been loving October so much. Not only is it my birthday month, but I just love when the season becomes cooler because I live in California, like central California, and summer was like 100 degrees every single day, no fail. Autumn is like a present for me. By the way, if you guys have never eaten pho before, get beef pho and then try the other ones because I feel like beef is superior. There's chicken, there's shrimp, there's pork meatballs, but this feels like the cleanest to me. I really like a clean tasting pho, so I always go for beef. Guys, I'm gonna try one of the fire spring rolls. I used a really bad spring roll wrapper, so they're like all falling apart. I'm not supposed to be eating this, guys. I'm sick. Okay, bone apple teeth. Mmm. It's not my favorite. <laughs> I think they accidentally sent me this last year. They sent me this to try out last year and I loved it. And they happened to send me another one, a Halloween one. So I kind of like already opened it yesterday. I didn't want it to go to waste and also I didn't want to send it back. It's all the way from Busan, Korea. That's like really far away. Yeah, I'm going to open with you guys today. This is the Halloween box. Oh my goodness. Look at these graphics, guys. I love this box because they put so much like effort into it. Oh my gosh, it has like fun stuff besides like telling you what actual snacks are in there. What stickers? So like this one's Halloween stickers. Oh, so cute. And actually took one yesterday. I'm gonna wear one again. <laughs> And then, guys, this is the cutest sticker I've ever seen in my life. Have uh, you guys watched like any kind of Chinese horror movies when you're little? You know that you put this on like a, a zombie or monster so that they stop moving. You go like that. Have you guys seen those movies? Anyways, I'm gonna put this somewhere where I want to protect myself. It's so cute. Like their card is so cute. Happy soulmates. And this is so cute. I think this is the artist. First off, I'm really excited about this. It's an aqua sheet mask. I 
really want to try this. It looks so good for your skin. I'm definitely going to put it in the fridge and then try it out for you guys. Okay, and then boom. Look how like stuffed this box is. So we're going to find my dessert in here today. Here's tea. I ate two things from here already and like the box is still like super full. Okay, here's a granola bar. Here's an option. A cookie. Oh my gosh, look at this BTS pencil. Should I do a giveaway? A secret giveaway? I know my jewels really like BTS, so I'm going to do a giveaway. Keep watching to see the rolls. I feel like I'm going to eat this. This is an apple cookie. Apple cookie. And this is a brownie. Chopsticks. The chopsticks are for the cup noodles, by the way. They always like put in like a cup noodle that I've never seen before. This is Twigim Udon. So Udon, cup noodle, ah, potato snack. Oh, they have Kinder seaweed. What the heck? And then, oh, look at these purple rice cakes. That is so pretty for Halloween. Oh my gosh, I always see these in Korean dramas. I would love to try this. Kosu Hanmat. This is those chips that you put around your fingers to pretend like you're a monster. Should I try this? And pumpkin soup. Little candies. Okay, that's the box. I'm gonna put everything back. Okay, I really love this box. I'm gonna link them down below so like every month they send you a new box for the month and they're like really good goodies. I've done them before guys and they always give away BTS stuff. I know you guys like BTS. Um, let's try this first. I really want to try this because it's like I want to do that like in the Korean dramas. First of all, how are you guys doing? Okay, so next month is Mochi's first birthday. My child is turning one years old. I can't wait to try this. Ooh, okay, this smell is. Whoa, it smells like corn chips. Okay, it's like this. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna throw my first birthday party ever. Yeah, this is my, gonna be my first time throwing a birthday party. And when I mean party, it's just gonna be me and my mom. But then we're gonna have decorations, cake for mochi, and presents for her. So yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I'm so excited, guys. I've been wanting a dog for... It took me 20 years to finally get um, a dog in my life because my parents would never allow it. They didn't know that you could potty train animals and, like, they didn't want to deal with, like, animals, like, you know, relieving themselves in the house. Also because they... My parents bought a house when I was little and they really wanted to keep the house in good condition because it was their forever home. And we could not even like hang pictures on a wall, put holes in the walls. So definitely no animals allowed. But yeah, now that I have an animal in my house, it's like a house dog too. Yeah, to me, it still feels so unreal when I see like an animal ru running around in my house. It's like so cool, I think. And I'm like really grateful for it because I feel like having a dog is a really a unique experience. Dogs, once they love you, they it's end game for them. Uh, I'm definitely gonna vlog her birthday, so make sure you subscribe to my second channel, Julie Julie. And also, you guys can follow Mochi on her Instagram. She has an Instagram. She's trying to get to 100 followers, guys, so make sure you guys check her out. It's underscore at Mochi. Yeah, I know you guys are in school now, right? Oh, shoot. I got a whole set. <laughs> like, oh my god, I already feel like a little bit glamorous. You guys make friend groups, right? Well, anyways, my advice for you guys, make sure you guys are in friend groups where you feel like where you can be 100% yourself and accepted for who you are. Like, when you're hanging out with them, it's just so easy. No drama. It doesn't feel like a chore. You don't have to, like, do something. Mm, I love it so much. Yeah. I'm telling you guys this because I didn't experience it till I finished college. And it really sucks. It's, like, something that really pains me. One of my biggest regrets is putting all my eggs in one basket. And I know a lot of people say that for like relationships, but it applies to friendships too. Like unless you have a friend group where you already feel like so connected with them and you don't have to change who you are, like even the littlest part. Good for you, but most of the time we go to school all day, we see them every day, we think that that's friendship and when I was in high school I had a friend group that I was with from freshman year to senior year 
and that made me like so loyal to them but I would say like in that French group I never truly felt like I could be myself because people were being passive aggressive people were teasing me by the way if someone's teasing you or bullying you that person most likely feels some kind of way towards you because a true friend would not like someone doesn't have to put you down in order to feel close to you I feel like people think teasing is like how you bond yeah maybe with your siblings but like friendships I don't know I don't think that I don't think that's healthy I didn't think it was possible for me to ever find a friend that I truly felt like myself but it happened guys you think it's so hard to connect with someone but just put yourself out there there's bound to be someone who shares the same values as you who sees what you see and just accepts you for who you are it's it's possible guys it took me so long but I did it I thought my the friend group that I had in high school I thought they were all going to be my bridesmaids at my wedding, but now I feel like I don't even know those people, to be honest. If you're like having some kind of doubts about your friendship or you want to see if it's like a real good thing for you, I recommend you taking yourself out of that group for a bit, like take a break and come back and see. And it's so hard to know like if you're in a really good friendship group until you take a break from it trust me that's what happened to me when i went to korea i came back i subconsciously started to distance myself without even knowing it that's what i'm telling you guys just now because i know you guys are in school and you guys are hanging out with the same group every day probably now but yeah if i could go back in time I would like be open to like meeting new people and a part of me was kind of like that already in high school like I hung out with like at least three different groups of friendships but there was one that I was really there's a group that I was really loyal to because we just know we just knew each other so long that I thought that was what friendship was about friendship is not about who you've been with for the longest time like other things in life are so hard already make sure you guys are having good friendships so yeah that's what i want to talk about and i'm gonna be giving this away now now yeah, you guys are in school right so you guys need a really cute pencil right it will motivate you to study more all you need to do is be a subscriber be a jewel and like this video comment down below what was your favorite video of mine this year i'm really curious other than that thank you so much for watching I hope you guys get to enjoy delicious fun on a cloudy day as well. Cloudy, rainy day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Guys, here we have legit... If your safety is at risk, ask me to call emergency...